Hello YouTubers and welcome to my cooking channel. The recipe I will show you today is a yummy variation of a classic dish, vegan Caesar salad. Tender lettuce leaves combined with juicy mushrooms and homemade croutons for a complete salad that is even better than the real thing. So let's begin. I have to make some questions uh, here to my friends. Follow exactly their answers uh, to make this recipe. So, the authentic Caesar salad. What uh, are the ingredients of the Caesar salad? What? Chicken. So, the first thing we have to change to make a vegan Caesar salad is the chicken. Instead of chicken, we will use some oyster mushrooms, because oyster mushrooms are cheap and uh, they have this uh, lovely texture of meat, okay? okay? The second ingredient of authentic Caesar salad is anchovies. Okay, we're using anchovies for the dressing, so instead of anchovies in this recipe, we will use some dried mushrooms to take all this flavor of the dressing. You got it? So the third thing we're using at Caesar salad is what? Parmesan. Instead of parmesan, we will cook some lovely what? Tofu. And of course, lettuce is vegan, so we don't have to change it. Uh, we'll keep the same. And let's start with the recipe. You got it. The only thing we have to do is to change the dairy products with vegan products, which is easy to make. And actually, this recipe, I dare to say that it's more tasty than the real thing, really. So, first I need a pan on heat. And the first thing we have to prepare is the chicken. So, the chicken of this recipe is our lovely oyster mushrooms. And I have a bowl here. I will just crack them in half or in three pieces if they are quite big. You don't have to use a knife. I love oyster mushrooms. The most lovely of the oyster mushrooms are the price because they are quite cheap. There are a lot of fancy mushrooms on, on the market, but they are quite expensive. So, we want a cheap mushroom, which is um, oyster mushroom. And of course, the texture of oyster mushroom when it's cooked. Uh, so, the mushrooms goes in. And of course, I need salt, pepper and olive oil. The only thing we have to consider at this point is to not overcrowd our pan, because if we add all this amount of mushrooms, then probably we will braise them instead of saute them. And we want this meaty uh, texture and flavor. So make sure that you will split the portion in half into your pan. This is a non-stick pan. And as you can see, I will leave it to be extremely hot before I add my mushrooms, because I want my mushrooms to become uh, somehow grilled and uh, take all this barbecue flavor from, from the pan. And my mushrooms go in and I will keep the rest for the next portion. So, my mushrooms are ready. I will take them out and I will carry on with my tofu. But first, I have to clean a little bit my pan because I don't want this black color to go on my sexy tofu. Don't worry, it's not taste, it's just black color of the, of the oil. And now it's time for my tofu. I have this lovely tofu here. And if you have time, make sure that you will take off the excess water of the tofu. Just squeeze it. We don't want this water because we want to caramelize it. And I will cut some lovely cubes and this is the way that we will replace the Parmesan cheese. So, my tofu is here, on the pan, and of course some olive oil to make it crispy and sexy. I'm using olive oil, but you can use some flour oil too, there's no problem. And I want to make it crispy. And the first ingredient, chicken, is ready. Parmesan cheese is almost ready. And the third thing we have to prepare is what, my friend, like is? Huh? The dressing. So we have to replace the anchovies with something else to take this lovely result of Caesar uh, dressing. Now, my cheese is almost ready. 
At this point, be patient because we want a nice color to the tofu. We want to become crispy. So the most of the recipe is using a lot amount of oil. I don't want to make them greasy. This is a healthy recipe, so we don't want to overdo it with uh, fat and uh, carbs and stuff like that. So I'm using a non-stick pan, few amount of olive oil, and of course it's time to deglaze the pan. I have some soy sauce. Mix and mix. And this is it. Our Parmesan cheese is what my friend like is. Ready, ready. So Parmesan cheese is here. And the last thing I have to prepare in this pan is of course the croutons. This recipe is quite healthy. So I will follow the same rules for the croutons. I have a whole wheat bread here and I will cut some lovely cubes here to prepare my croutons. And the bread goes into the pan. And of course, we need some olive oil. At this point, be a little bit stingy with olive oil because the bread is like a sponge. It will absorb all the oil. So don't overdo it. We want some oil into the pan, but not so much. We want the caramelization of the bread. We want the sexiness of the bread, but we don't want to make fatty croutons. Now, my bread is ready. I will turn off the heat and I will leave them stay here on the pan. Now, it's time for the dressing. The dressing is the most easy part of the recipe because um, I realized that if you take some sandal dried mushrooms and actually soak them into soy sauce and a little bit oil, it will give you the taste of anchovies. So, I will add them into my mixture, some soy sauce, some garlic. Uh, with garlic, it depends on tastes. With half garlic, you will take this lovely Caesar dressing. With one garlic, one clove of garlic, you will take the more garlicky flavor that everybody wants. I will follow half clove of garlic and a little bit of extra virgin Greek olive oil. Should I add any salt and pepper? No, because I added soy sauce. Soy sauce is quite salty, so the seasoning of uh, Caesar dressing is in soy sauce. Now, I will mix and mix. And if you ever did before a Caesar dressing, the first step uh, that you have to follow is to mix anchovies with oil. So you have a paste that actually looks like this paste. And this is the paste that we will use to make the Caesar dressing. If you taste it, actually it will remind you a little bit of um, anchovies. So, I will add my dressing into my vegan mayo. And if you want to make it more healthy, you can take uh, coconut yogurt. It's actually working uh, with that as well. And mix and mix everything. And it's time to serve this lovely Caesar salad. Oh my God. This is absolutely amazing. Now, I need an ice dish here. I will add my iceberg. And of course, the rest of the ingredients. First, we will add the lovely mushrooms instead of chicken. I will add my Parmesan cheese, tofu. I will add my croutons. I don't know why, but always in my Caesar salad, I'm adding some dried tarragon. I love tarragon. Tarragon inside my dressing too. And of course, it's time for the dressing. If the dressing is quite thick, you can use some water to make it thinner. Just a little bit. One to two tablespoons of water will make the dressing thinner because now it's quite thick because we add this paste with mushrooms inside and it made the dressing thicker. Look at this. Perfection. Now, it's time for Mr. Dressing. Do not overdo it. We want some dressing, but not so much. We want to eat Caesar salad with dressing, and not dressing with some lettuce. Now, it's time to taste a little bit of everything. I love this recipe, guys, really. If you don't know, in Greece, Every Wednesday and Friday, we are not eating meat. 
because of the religion. So all the time I'm trying to find recipes that actually are tasty, full of nutrients, and um, actually uh, to give me the impression that I'm not missing anything. So with this salad, you are not missing anything. You have everything inside this bowl and the taste. If you are not vegan, just try this recipe. You will love it. You will put it weekly in your diet because it's amazing, very easy to make and very, very healthy. And this is our channel. We are always giving this kind of tips. We are making this lovely recipes. Uh, we are a Greek channel, but uh, we're making worldwide recipes because we want that. We are international, baby. And of course, you have to make comments under the video. Share this lovely recipe with your friends. Don't forget to make comments under the video. Uh, what else? Subscribe, what else? Make the recipe and follow in social media. Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, Viber. We are everywhere. So see you next time. Bye-bye. Yes,